Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of writing equations and inequalities. This is standard 8.8a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Jerry has a new job, earns a salary of 45000 Victoria's got a new job, earns a salary higher, 54000 But Jerry's going to receive a salary increase of 2500 per year, and Victoria's going to receive a salary increase of 1500 per year. So Victoria earns more now, but is receiving less of an increase. Jerry earns less, but is receiving more of an increase. That's interesting. So how many years will it take? X is going to be our number of years to for Jerry to earn the same as Victoria. So that same is going to be our equal sign. All right, so we are looking for, I want my J to equal V. Simple as that. I want Jerry, Jerry's salary to equal Victoria's salary. So what we know is that they have different starting points, right? So Jerry's got a starting point of $45,000. So that's what his starting point. And then I've got to read that second sentence. I guess I can kind of put this over here. Victoria's got a starting point of $54,000. But their increases, right? So their increases are going to be slightly different. Jerry's increase is $2,500 per year. So that lets me know that I'm going to use multiplication there. So $2,500. Uh, and then X is being used to represent the number of years. So 2,500 times X. And then Victoria has got 1,500. All right, so it looks like we've kind of worked through the word problem, um, and we've it almost looks like we've got slope-intercept form on both sides, right? We've got our coefficients, 2,500, 1,500. That's being multiplied by our variable, which is the x in this case, the number of years. But then we also have our constants, right? Our constants, which don't change. Uh, the 5,400 starting point for Victoria, the 4,500 starting point for Jerry. So if we really wanted to, we could flip those around and we could put the 2,500x uh, first and the 1,500x first and the plus 45,054. Doesn't look like did, they did, though. Looked like they kept the 45,000 first, kind of like we did. So we'll go ahead and keep it in this order. They did drop the dollar signs. So let's just rewrite it real quick so it looks a little cleaner without the dollar signs. We know that the dollars are there. All right, so 54,000 plus 1,500 X. All right, let's look at F. Now, ooh, $45,000 a year raise is what that's saying. $54,000 a year raise, plus 1500 Okay, so now we're just putting an X on everything. That's a lot of raises and a lot of monies. Uh, the numbers look good, but we don't need Xs on these constant. These are like our Y-intercepts. Uh, they don't change. So that's going to be incorrect. Let's check G. This is also, wow, $4,500 a year raise fifty four hundred dollars a year raise that's huge this is saying that your starting salaries are twenty five hundred and fifteen hundred and you're being raised forty five hundred forty five thousand and fifty four thousand that's opposite actually so h has got forty five thousand okay plus twenty five hundred dollar raise looking good fifty four thousand plus yeah that okay h is looking good let's check j well now we've got x's on three of them you got three X's, but we're not doing an X right here. That's kind of interesting, and that's incorrect. Our answer is H.